Hey there folks and welcome to another edition of Almost Interesting. You know, some people would try to generate interest and drama in their videos by making a bold, controversial statement and then playing an intro right away, letting their viewers sit and rage for a couple minutes, trying to think what the person could say after the intro to justify such nonsense. But I would never do that. I am a much better vlogger than that and I do not need to resort to those kind of tricks. Oh, by the way, video games are better than both movies and books as a storytelling medium. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Yes, today's topic is a little bit controversial, so why don't I explain what led me to talk about this. Last night, I threw myself into the Animus, slogged through the last eight hours, and beat Assassin's Creed 4. Now, I had been a little naughty a bit before this and looked ahead at some plot points in the story and found out about a pretty major plot point that happens right at the end. Now, when I got to that point in the game, it still moved me. Why? Because I have been playing this game off and on for about two months now. Now, obviously not every day or even close to every day or I would have been done a lot sooner than that. But the game just has such a well-written, long, detailed story. When you reach the end of it, you really care about Edward. And that's not just because you've spent so much time with him, but because you spent so much time as him. Sure, in the cutscenes, it's third person, but during the game, you sail your ship, you seek treasure, you fight other ships, you are Captain Edward Kenway. You see what he sees, you feel what he feels, you share in his triumphs, and you feel his losses. In a movie, you're watching someone else do things in a much shorter time frame. I can't make Batman, for example, go left or go right or land on that building or that one. Batman's actually a great example because there's a direct comparison to be made. The recent Batman films are excellent. They do a wonderful job of telling a great story in a short time frame. But I don't relate nearly as well to that Bruce Wayne as to the one that I helped set things straight in Arkham Asylum. Because I got to experience some of the things that are in his mind as him. Games are just the perfect combination of the visuality of movies and the length and narrative focus of books. And when you add in that interactivity that neither of the other two has, unless you count, I guess, choose your own adventure books, Games as narrative are just unique. And I can already hear some of you going, blah, 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 games are so wonderful and awesome and unique and deep. I bet you next he's going to say that games are art. Yeah, well, guess what? Games are art. Well, some of them are. It's like this. It's pretty widely accepted that painting is an art form. But if I draw a red line across a piece of paper, that's not art. In the same way, games like Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, are art. A wonderful story with beautiful visuals and engaging gameplay. Are there some video games that aren't worthy of being considered art? Oh lord, yes. E.T. for the Atari, Superman 64, Kane and Lynch 2. There are some truly terrible games out there. And even a game like Angry Birds is fun, it's good, but I think it's a little too simple to be considered art. But at the same time, there are books, pictures, movies that I wouldn't consider art either. I think some games not being worthy to be considered art actually helps the cause of gaming being considered an art form. But I do know that it's troubling for some to consider video games as art. For one thing, classifying video games as art helps get them closer to some protections that other forms of art have right now, such as free speech. Also, I think it's just overall troubling for some to grant video games that level of legitimacy as an art form. However, I still maintain some video games are art. 
the story of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag to me is just as good, if not better, than the best movie that I have seen so far this year, Frozen. Some have tried to make gaming art by making gaming into other forms of art. For things like drawings, this works really, really well. But when you try to make games into movies, that's where you run into some trouble. I think the main challenge with turning video games into movies are actually the very reasons that I say gaming is the best narrative tool. You're taking stories that are told over the span of weeks and shoving them into two hours, and you're taking control of the protagonist away from the players. Sometimes making games into movies does work. I know some people, and probably a lot of people, will disagree with me, but I consider Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat to both be pretty darn good movies. But I think that's just the thing. Both of those are fighting games. They don't really have a deep story written around them, so the directors and producers and writers had room to write good stories around them. With games like Assassin's Creed that have such a deep story, I just don't think that translates well into two hours on the big screen. Well, I think that's about all the controversy that I can dish out for one week. Um, I know this is a hot button topic, a lot of back and forth. If you have any comments, opinions on this, please feel free to leave some comments down in the comments section below the video. And actually, I have one other question that I would like some comments on. I am considering reintegrating my channels, bringing the Miami Sports Report and Almost Gaming back here to my main Sean Fowler channel. I just think it's a little less confusing, it's a little less work as far as uploading, and I think the majority of my viewers are here. So I can bring the Miami Sports Report and Almost Gaming to you all. If you have any comments about that, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Well, that's it for another edition of Almost Interesting. As I said, please leave comments down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and look for us on Twitter. You can click the buttons to see my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for Almost Good, and I'll see you next week. Why? Because, uh, I don't know, watch, um, I don't know. But I still don't relate to that Bruce Wayne nearly as well as to the one that I helped set things straight in Arkham Asylum. Last line. Last line. For one, but I know it is troubling for little girl and